Receiving data. All staff members who received their notice are to report to social control Access by granted. Failure to report will be considered an aggravating circumstance. with robots. Repeat, avoid interacting with the complex's robotic staff at all times. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. Listen to me, you brainless mutt. Yes, Agent, this recording is for you. I can hear you banging around in the warehouse. You'll never take me live, so listen up. You have no idea what's going on here. Who's the brainless mutt now, huh? According to biometric readings, this is Patrol. It is? Crispy critters. Shit. It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard? This is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. 
A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Access granted.
for power generator microclimate readings are suboptimal. Electricity generation not possible. The energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Smoking-related issues have been especially intense since the war, and Comrade Stalin just added fuel to the fire by making pipes look stylish. Now we've ended up with an unhealthy nationwide addiction. I suggest introducing a special kind of tobacco to the market. It contains almost no nicotine and is completely free of harmful tar. And, most importantly, it gradually introduces an aversion to smoking. It's cheap to make and can easily replace ordinary tobacco. We could help two-thirds of Soviet smokers kick the habit in just five years. Holy shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures, but the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Major, what?
Access granted. Crops, 
that are already being used to end famine in drought-afflicted regions like North Africa and Central Asia. But the true goal of the Hotshop's research goes far beyond that. With polymer treatment, future heat-resistant plants will populate the hothouses of Mars and the cloudy gardens of Venus. Ugh, it's hot as balls in here. You call this comfortable? The temperature in the shop seems to have risen to an extremely high level. Ah, no shit. The heaters must have malfunctioned. The workshop will remain filled with superheated air as long as they remain as they are. Got it. They must be in a room somewhere around here. Boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it.
Okay, I found the opening. stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? What do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? Sure. Good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. Boiler's too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside.
Please select the desired procedure. off from the inside. I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high-temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Okay, I found the opening. Serve humans, right? Well, I used to serve folks too. Ugh. What do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? Served at course, and I served in Berlin. I didn't do it just to get a fancy medal. I was fighting for equality, so everybody could have the same rights and responsibilities. So everybody could be like everybody else. Now, I just need to figure out how to put your damn thing on. It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? the pipes openings in the next room and not over by the birch tree.
one's all set. with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Charles, who's singing? Never heard him before. I have no idea. This is a broadcast from the Academy of Consequences Radio of the Future. It could be anything. The future is vast. Comrade Major. Yes? Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon, a hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, He's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? Nah, that's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah, I guess so. the desired procedure. Access granted. 